Okay, welcome to level two of Core Solutions. It's me and Kim again. Okay, what we're going to do this time is we're going to do opposite leg and arm lifts um, in the all fours position. So why don't you go ahead and come down, Kim. And what you're going to do is you're going to open your legs up a little bit so they're about hip level. Um, you're going to take one hand and have it slightly wider than shoulder level for balance. Okay, you want to keep your head and your neck in line with the spine once again. You want to pull your abs in tight so your back doesn't sag. And you're just going to lift opposite leg, opposite arm, whichever ones you want to lift. You ready? You scared? Okay. All right. Opposite leg, opposite arm, and you're just going to lift and then come slowly back down. Okay? And lift and slowly back down. And lift. We're going to do 10 of these. Slowly back down. Okay, number four. Lift. Once again, you're going to feel that in through your spine here and slowly down. Okay, number five, lift. Okay, notice Kim isn't kicking. She's just kind of going straight out, slowly down. I always I joke around and call this the bird dog. And lift. One of those called pointers or something. And slowly down. And lift. I believe this is seven. And slowly down. Once again, her head and her neck and her spine are in alignment. Lift. That's number eight. And slowly down. And two more. Lift and slowly down. And one more time. Lift and slowly down. Okay, we're going to switch sides. It's a little easier for balance if you don't have that arm right up underneath your shoulder. It's a little bit out to the side. And once again, head and neck in line. And you don't want to kick. You just want to lift nice and easy. Okay, ready? And lift and slowly down and lift and slowly down that's two and lift slowly down that's number four and lift and down <laughs> okay number five lift and slowly down I would just want to be straight across there and lift I want to be kicking to the moon, just nice and slow and controlled, slowly down, and neck in line, and lift. It's a seven. Slowly down, thank you. Slowly down, and lift. Number eight, yes. Slowly down, two more times. Lift, slowly down, and one more time. Lift, and slowly down. Okay, now let's come the whole way down, face down. I call this ready for takeoff. Just going to have your hands straight out. Once again, you're going to keep those feet down again. If you really, really feel better lifting those feet up a little bit, then that's entirely up to you. But what we're going to show you is we're going to keep the feet on the ground, okay? So all you're going to do is you're just going to lift up. You're going to keep those hips down. Just going to lift and then slowly down, okay? Like you're praying to chanting or whatever they do. And lift and slowly down. Okay, once again, the head and neck are in line with the spine. Lift, we'll be leaning forward or back like that, and slowly down. Everything is slow and controlled, and lift. And we can pull on some just strings right through here. You can feel that right through the low back, and slowly down. Okay, again, lift, and slowly down. Are you breathing? Mm -hmm. And lift, excellent. Breathing is good. And slowly down, okay. And let's just do three more here. We're going to do eight of these. And slowly down. And lift. And slowly down. And just one more time. Lift. And slowly down. Okay, Kim, why don't you come up onto the bench? <coughs> You're going to be in a prone position, face down. Now, where we showed you the modified Cobra, in section one, you come all the way down, relax, while I'm talking, thanks. Um, but we showed you the modified cobra, just flat on the ground in section one. We're gonna go on the bench this time, it's a little more full range of motion. So once again, you're gonna keep those hips down, and you're just gonna have your hands in front, and you're gonna press up, okay? Keep those shoulders down, in fact, you don't wanna be like this, okay? And slowly down, relax the whole way. And lift again. Notice the head and neck are in line with the spine. She's not leaning forward. She's not leaning back. And slowly down. You're going to feel that right in through here. And lift. And slowly down. And lift. 
and slowly down. And we'll do just four more of those. And lift. And slowly down. And notice the feet are down on the ground again. Lift, but that's up to you. Some people feel better lifting the feet and down. How many more? Two more, sounds pretty good. And lift. And slowly down. And one more time. Press up. And slowly down. Okay, we're gonna do uh, the opposite leg, the opposite arm lift here. Again, we're gonna be face down on the bench and we're gonna alternate these. Once again, you're gonna be keeping the head and neck and the spine all in alignment here. So Kim, why don't you go ahead and lift. And slowly down and switch sides. And lift. And slowly down. Okay. Number two, lift. And slowly down. And lift. Slowly down. Number three, lift. I do eight of these also. Slowly down. How you doing? Roll, 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 roll. And lift. And slowly down. Here's number four. And lift. And remember, you want to do all these exercises slow and controlled. Slowly down. You want to hold at the peak of contraction. Lift. Where you notice we're holding up here. And then we're going slowly down. We're not going to lift and flop. Lift and flop. We're going to lift nice and slow and hold and slowly back down. And lift again. And slowly down. Do we have three more? Two more. Okay, good. Lift. And slowly down. And one more time. Lift. And slowly down. Okay, now the back arch where we did that laying down, if you're going to do this just on the bench, you're going to take your hands behind, and I'll do it standing up for you while Kim does it laying down. Okay, you're just going to clasp your hands behind, you're going to slide them down your buns, down the glutes, and slowly down. Okay, and lift, and slowly down. And once again, you can do this in your office too. Uh, that's the first thing everybody does when they get out of their office chairs. They stand up and, oh, my back. Slowly down. That's because you're sitting like this all day long. Lift, and your back is dying to have you come back and just work it a little bit through the air. Slowly down. Okay, and lift. And slowly down. Lift. And slowly down. Two more times. And lift. Slowly down, one more time, and lift, and slowly down. Okay, why don't you just come up on your hands and knees on the bench. Once again, pull those abs in nice and tight, round the back over, and just press back, just slide those hips back a little bit, keep the arms forward. So you're rounding forward like this. Okay, come forward and release, just to where you're comfortable. Okay, and yeah, round it. And release. Okay. Come on up now. Thanks, everybody. Okay, so we're going to start with the abdominals now on level two. Okay, this is the abdominal section on level two. We're going to start with the reverse curl, just what we started with, with level one, because I really want you to be prepped for level three when we get to that point. So why don't you go ahead and lay back down. You're going to take your legs right up over. You're going to open them up about hip level and just flop those feet down to where you're comfortable. Okay, you want to have the natural curve of the spine here so you can press that out um, by doing the pelvic tilt. Okay, so why don't you go ahead and press and release. We're going to do 10 of these. And press and release. Press. And notice we're holding at the peak of the contraction here. Release and press. So you don't want to press and flop, press and flop, okay, release. Just do nice and slow, press and hold, and release, and press, that's six, and release, and press, number seven, release, three more, press, and release, you tired yet? Press, and release, one more time, press, and release. Okay, we're going to stay in the exact same position here that we're in. What we're going to do this time 
is you're going to press your belly button down, keeping the back flat, while you slowly take one leg down and just tap the heel down and back in and then alternate with the other leg. Okay, just want to tap that heel down nice and slow. Go ahead. You want to be pressing the back flat the whole time while you're doing this, okay? Slowly down and release. You want to keep that back press flat. Is this number three? I think so. Slowly up, okay, nice and slow, down, slowly back up, slow down, bad body. Press and slowly back up. Once again, press, make sure you're breathing. Remember, breathing is good. And slowly, very good. And press, is this five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten? I'm not sure. And release and switch. We'll do three more sets. Okay, and press. And slowly back in and switch. Okay, so the last two sets we're going to bicycle, okay? So you want to slowly take that leg out and now slowly switch, nice and slow. I'm just going to slowly, by slowly bicycle, bad body, slowly bicycle, nice and slow. Now you're keeping your back press flat the whole time. We're just going to do two more sets of these because you should be pretty pooped about now. You're pretty pooped about now? She's real pooped about right now, so we're going to do one more. Make sure you're really pooped. Keeping that back press flat last time. And just slowly bring that leg in. Okay. Now, <clears throat> what I'd like you to do is lay on your side. Okay, you'll need a small towel. And what you're going to do with this towel is you're just going to lay it right underneath your waist here. Okay, what this is doing, instead of flopping your rib cage down, this is aligning your pelvis here so you're not like this as you lay down. Okay, what you want to do here is you want to have this bottom leg bent underneath a little bit. You want to have your hips stacked right on top of each other. You don't want to roll forward or roll back. And you want to have the shoulders stacked right on top of each other. You're going to keep your head down. Now, as you lift, you're going to slide your hand down your leg. I want you to keep your neck and your spine in line as much as you can. Don't lead with your neck. Release. Okay, you're just going to lift and slide right down. And this is working your obliques. Okay, I'm going to do it standing while Kim does it laying so you can see the example. You're just going to slowly slide down and lift. Okay, don't lead with your neck. Keep your neck in line in here. Slide it down. We'll definitely count these. That's four. <laughs> these are tough. And five. Come on back up. There's six. And slowly down. Just slide that hand right down the leg. You should feel this right in through your obliques. Two more times. Lift. Slowly down. And one more time. Lift and slowly down. Okay, just switch sides. <clears throat> okay, once again, you want that towel right at your waist. Okay, hips are stacked, bottom leg is bent under, shoulders are stacked. And you're going to keep your head and your neck in line with the spine and slide right down. Lift and slowly down. And once again, I'll show you for an example standing lift. Okay, but you don't want to do this standing, you want to do this laying slowly down. Okay, and lift. Slowly down. And lift. And slowly down. Okay, four more. Lift. Slowly down. Three more. Lift. And down. And just two more. Are you breathing? Okay. Slowly down. And one more time, lift, and slowly down. Okay, you can go ahead and come up, and you're going to get um, on your bench. You're going to have your head at the top end. <coughs> okay, what you're going to do here is you're going to do a reverse curl like we did before. Then you're going to bring your legs up this time. Okay, just bring them right up. If you're more comfortable, you can cross them like this, or you can just keep them open like this. You do whatever you feel better doing. Okay, if you want, you can just rest your hands on the back, hold on. But what I don't want to <clears throat> have you do is I don't want to see you swinging your legs. Okay, you're just going to press that belly button down into the bench and release. So it's press. Now notice Kim's legs are moving, release, <clears throat> but just a very small amount. Press. Because the abdominals are doing all the work here, okay? She's not swinging her legs and do it using momentum. Press and release. 
and press and release four more times. Breathing is good. And release. Three more. Press. And release. Two more. Press. And release. One more time. Press. And release. Okay, you can go ahead and take your legs down. Hold it down. Now, what you're going to do here is you're going to bend one knee in. Let's take the right knee so I can say right, and you'll be doing the right. Now, this is just here for decoration, no other particular reason. Now, you're going to bring your other leg in, bend it just enough, so once again, you've got to press the back flat using the abs. And when you're in this position and you're pressing, your upper body wants to already come up a little bit. So what we're going to do here, I'll show you standing first, and then we'll, we'll do it all together. You're in this position, you're going to tilt and rotate back to center and release. Tilt and rotate, center, <coughs> release, excuse me. Tilt and rotate, center and release. Just again from this example, tilt and rotate, center and release that tilt. Tilt and rotate, center, <coughs> release. Tilt, <coughs> rotate, excuse me, my voice is leaving the building. Release, tilt and rotate, Two more. Tilt and rotate. She's counting for me. I can't talk and count and be in charge and everything. And rotate and center and release. Okay, let's switch sides. <clears throat> now once again, you want to only bring this leg in enough so that you can press that, that back flat using your abs. If you bring it in too close, your back's already going to be flat and then we don't have any reason to train the abdominals to stabilize the back. So you want to have that little arch there the natural curve of your spine so you can press that out, okay? So we're going to press and rotate, center and release. Now notice Kim isn't dragging her elbow over to your knee. All you're doing is a little spinal rotation here. There's no need for you to try and drag your elbow over to your knee. The important part here is you're going very slow and you're contracting. You're going to press, just that spinal rotation, center and release. And press and rotate center and release. And once again, you can put those hands wherever you're most comfortable. Kim likes them behind her head like that. Just don't pull on your neck. I prefer to just have them at my side to do the exercise. How many more? Two more, everybody. Press and turn and center, release. One more. Press and rotate and center and release. Okay, go ahead and put your legs down now. <clears throat> Once again, extend them out the whole way so you can just get the feel. Now notice I can slide my hand the whole way under Kim's back here. Now I bring him in just enough that she's going to press my hand, okay? Did you see how that worked? Okay, now you're going to do that. You're going to press. You're going to lift a little and rotate to the right. Actually, we want to reach on this one, okay? So you're going to press and rotate down and reach a little bit for your foot here, okay? So it's press and reach and center and release. Same side. Press and reach, center and down. And press and reach, center and down. And press and reach. Once again, working heels.